Hi guys. Well, it's New Year's Eve. Should I say Happy New Year's? Oh, that just rings hollow considering what we have li lived so far and what we are about to live. Let me just say, I hope that any of you who are celebrating tonight that you don't get drunk and that you have a really good time with your friends, family, loved ones. And maybe what we should really consider if you do those happy new year resolutions and you know look I it was never you know it was just another day for me um, but maybe we could really 2019 think about what we say how we behave um, try you know to get ourselves out of this ego driven um, consciousness that yeah many of us have um, that leads to a breakdown in trust and and uh, could end up misleading others. And I say that, you know, based on the comments that I got underneath the video that I posted where Mia was saying that we don't have the technology to cause, I guess, a pole shift and this is a natural thing. They're going to be blaming it on technology. Why would they do that? if it's a natural happening. Um, but there are so many explanations as to what took place in New York City with that uh, blue glowing sky. And considering that we have technology that I guess some people are denying, um, militaries, what they have the technology that they have, what we know of, well, we can put together speculations. That's the best that we can do now. Guess. Guess at what is taking place. We, we, they, they have technology that we don't know about. So when you factor in the technology the research that you've done, harp, harp-like facilities, Doppler radar, um, the technology to control weather, technology that can produce earthquakes, and wow, it can actually, prior to the earthquake, it will, in the sky, reflect colors. When we know this, and we're not, we're just going to ignore it, we're going to just like our mainstream media journalists, children who are paid by mommy and daddy to tell the public what mommy and daddy said to tell the public. We have child mainstream media reporters and journalists. And I'm going to show you all of that. Um, this wall that has been up with journalists, we cannot look at what the military is doing. That has caused so much division in our society because those reporters have the wall. They report the news that mommy and daddy want the children to hear. They get an allowance from mommy and daddy to do just that. And the children, they just say to you, who is an adult and has done the research they say to you that you're just crazy this is what we're living now but we also have people on YouTube who claim to know what they don't know and that comes I believe from an ego driven consciousness to claim that what is taking place is natural magnetic pole shift and you're just going to ignore ignore all the physicists and scientists and and people like Rosalie Bertel, who have done the research on HARP itself, but then you think about all of the HARP facilities around the world and the Doppler radar stations that are effectively these mini HARP stations. Um, we have these power stations all over the country that if you look at that power station that is located in your community, you will see those power stations 
they have constructed antennas all over, like mini harp stations. It's a, it's a phased array um, antenna station. The Gwen Towers littered all over the place. So you're going to deny this technology? Okay, I just don't understand this. But Mr. Caddy, and I will link below to everything, Mr. Caddy put up a very interesting video. And this is what he has to say. And I'm going to show you the link to what he says and to what... Uh, it was amazing. I listened to this video and then I went to Drudge and the headline is no longer that headline, but I'll show you what the headline was. So listen to this just for a few minutes. And, I, you know, also for 2019, um, why don't we think about our brain and how it operates? Years and years ago, if I came across this video, I wouldn't have listened to him. I, I just wouldn't have, it, because I had that closed, I had the walls operating in my brain. I would hear language like Satan um, and close off. Orbs, I would close off. Why? Because I was still, I still had that arrogance who, based on my research, based on my um, intelligence, based on everything that I knew, not recognizing how indoctrinated I had been to close off to those who were religious. So they said, Satan, you're crazy. Orbs, oh, what is that? It's, it's something, you know, I, I just, well, I would think to myself, it's just this crazy stuff, these crazy people, and close down, not listen to it. It's important to open your mind. You cannot have a closed mind and claim to be about the truth. We need to open our minds. So um, there are so many areas that I don't go into, and I can't now because I just don't have that brain anymore to research new uh, subjects. But I don't, I don't immediately say they're wrong. I can't. I can't because I haven't researched it. And, um, but what, how I operate is I do not, I can't ignore reality. I cannot ignore harp and the power of it. I cannot ignore, um, an awful lot, even though I've not done, uh, the research. So when people tie in, their research, to research that I've done, I certainly have to listen to them. And while I can't say with 100% surety that Mr. Caddy is right, I can't even say that about what I, you know, said about the electrons exciting them when they relax, they produce photons that cause light. I can't say with 100% uh, surety that I'm right. All I'm saying is that if anybody comes out, comes out and says, I know it's natural and they're going to blame it on technology, that is a thinking that I really, you know, look, it's dangerous because there's an awful lot of people who don't do the research and who, who just like people, their personality, and they think that what they are saying is the truth. Um, that misleads people. That's why it's dangerous. And we have to stop that. So what is taking place, I don't believe is natural. I do believe that our militaries, and for those of you who do not like cursing, then stick your fingers in your ears. One, two, three. Militaries have so fucked up this planet. So for any of us to be ignoring, um, that factor, which is the biggest factor in what we are living, as far as I'm concerned, um, then that is really very dangerous. So listen to Mr. Caddy. Dallas Fort Worth, these orbs, those orbs I stated were 
Cosmospheres. 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 I did a full full length report way back in the day, which is a uh, well, it's technology from the Reagan era, the Star uh, Star Wars uh, time frame. It was a form of technology that we did not pursue. I'm not sure that is entirely accurate. I think we did pursue it, but we just you know put it underground and it was funded you know through different agencies, black op funding, but. Um, I can't say for sure that that actually took place, but I think I vaguely remember other people who have done research saying that. America, our government, did not pursue, and yet the Russians did. Now, these cosmospheres uh, incorporate a form of uh, anti-gravity, but they're round, much smaller than the UFOs that would... Uh, put many people in these orbs are because they're much smaller to me they they are equatable to like a fighter jet but with orbs that have the ability to you know they can do right angles they, they can shoot off immediately and disappear uh, well anyway I had to mention this because those orbs were a factor in the Dallas Fort Worth event but the transformers and all the plasma brought up many other subjects that I covered way back in the day because once again the time frame is key to when these things were occurring back in 2011 Stuxnet I incorporated Stuxnet the artificial intelligence uh, virus that the America USA and Israel developed that they released and used against Iran Okay, that was really the first act of a cyber war before we even had rules and regulations for cyber war. So anytime we talk about, you know, our government, State Department talks about, we've already attacked, we've already used this technology to attack other nations. And thank you, Mr. Caddy, for pointing out how unbelievably hypocritical we are. So, what is he saying? Orbs, artificial intelligence, plasma, and then he talks about how He's noticed that, you know, it's like looking for something. These orbs looking for something. What are they looking for? Are they looking for um, pathways to inject viruses? And I, that's a paraphrase, so I hope I got it right, Mr. Caddy. It's interesting that that is what he was talking about. And what comes up on Drudge? Computer virus hits newspapers coast to coast. Mike Morales also talks about these orbs that he noticed. And, well, you can take a look at all of the geoengineering taking place. And this was um, the night New York City had their uh, blue glowing sky. But, you know, the microwaves, the saturation of these microwaves, the geoengineering. Some people are claiming it was the the geoengineering that created the blue sky. Well, if that's the case, we'd be seeing that you know all the time. But we do see now our sky has turned different colors. Yes, the geoengineering is part of it. The microwaves are part of it. All of the ripples that you see here. But I have to tell you. <laughs> uh, there is so much I don't know, but listening to Mr. Caddy and he's talking about these orbs and these this artificial intelligence and these orbs that people have noticed them, you know, in the sky and suddenly they shoot off, you know, in one direction and then they shoot off up, down, then to another direction. What's happening in our skies? There's so much we don't know. Could they, could they use nanotechnology, artificial intelligence to inject viruses surging through uh, electrical lines? That is an area that I would have to research a whole lot. But HARP, okay, listen. Well, let's get back to some of the other applications of HARP and some of the other things that it can do. 
One of the other applications that came up um, early on was the idea of what's called earth penetrating tomography. Let me make that really simple. Uh, by analogy, uh, it would be like x-raying the earth or looking into the earth several kilometers or several miles deep to look at underground structures for mineral deposits, uh, nuclear facilities, tunnels, mining facilities, all those kinds of things can be detected by earth penetrating tomography. Now, the way that this would work with HARP is really unique, and this is again going back to Dr. Eastland's patents. By sending this energy up, this focused energy up to the ionosphere, what they can do is they can pulse the energy so it acts like a punch. So it's punching the ionosphere with this force that causes the ionosphere to vibrate in resonance and harmony with the signal on the ground. So, if, for instance, in, uh, in Norway where they have one of these facilities operating, uh, they were able to play Wagner uh, in a way that got the ionosphere to literally vibrate to Wagner as an example. In the low frequency range, extremely low frequency range, the ELF range, it sends a signal back to the Earth and ELF uh, signals are very long wavelengths. And what they do is they penetrate the Earth and sea all the way through the Earth and sea. Nothing stops. All the way through the Earth and sea. That's the power of these frequencies. If they can do that, open your mind to realize that if they're penetrating these frequencies right through the Earth, could they be affecting the magnetic pole? 2012. The compass is becoming more inaccurate every day. It's not a result of faulty manufacturing. It's because the North Pole itself is changing. Follow me now. This problem is actually so drastic that workers at Tampa International and Peter O'Knight airports are rushing to make changes. And Brooks Garner, our meteorologist and local science, do we dare say nerd? spent the day looking into this polar shift. When most people hear North Pole, they think of Santa Claus. And while he'll always be at the very top of the world... There's also a magnetic pole, which is produced by um, fluctuations or flow of, of iron in the core of the Earth. Dr. Chris Conner of USF explains that the constantly moving molten iron acts like a giant car alternator, creating a magnetism on a planetary scale with the magnetic north and south pole. But over the last few decades, it's been moving, and now it's moved all the way from northern Canada into northern Siberia. Which means what your compass shows as north in Tampa Bay isn't really north. And this is a problem for airports. When a pilot navigates, he needs to find which is the correct runway to land in or take off on. So he uses his compass and his cockpit to orient himself. That's how the okay, so the magnetic pole has been shifting, and this guy says for decades. Um, we don't even know if that's true. Look, there are so many uh, people out there that rely on information that is placed out there to get them to say these things, get them to believe these things. Um, and what if it began to shift when our military started operating HARP? But what I am telling you, what I am saying, is for anybody to say that this magnetic pole shift is natural, they have closed off the biggest factor that everybody should be looking at. Harp, harp-like facilities, what are militaries, and not just the United States, but uh, Russia, China, and many militaries around the world using this technology, if we can penetrate these extremely powerful frequencies that go through the earth, vibrate through the earth, we know that we have technology to create earthquakes. We sure can shift that magnetic pole. And people have been talking about it for a long time. You know, this is tra Traders Beware. And man, so many that I had, you know, been corresponding with, talking to. I, there, well, many of us lost our channels and things get screwed up in the cyber world. But I hope that you are doing okay.
2012 man-made pole shift coming. You know, look, there's a lot of people who have just entered into uh, this community. They just, you know, uh, becoming awake at a certain point. You know, our level of knowledge, wish it was on the same level, wish we were all on the same page, but we're not. So those who come into this after 2012, they doing all this research on the sun and everything that's going on and believing that it's natural, they're just going to believe it's natural. What I find very suspect is for anybody who says we don't have the technology. We don't have the technology. Now, years ago, information was so easy to find. I had posted, even before I left Great Barrington, my first Kafka Winston World channel on HARP and came up with more information than just this article. HARP could capsize planet. And of course, we have a child doing the reporting from Wired. Just when you think you've heard all the possible far out theories behind HARP in Alaska, leave it to the Russians to come up with one better. Forget mind control. The Russians think HARP is a geophysical weapon. It is. But this child, well, he is getting his allowance from mommy and daddy, reporting what mommy and daddy want him to say, what the military wants him to say, what our government officials want him to say. And it's unfortunate because we've got a lot of children in our adult population who just want to get their information from the child reporter, and that's it. You, as an adult, who do the research, you know what these child reporters are telling everybody. You know it's wrong. But the child who receives that information will tell you that you're crazy. That the division has been very successful. But unfortunately, we do have ordinary people on YouTube that either purposely or inadvertently they cause the same division when they claim to know and look at all of my research. But you're knocking out all of the information that disputes what you're saying. A lot of people don't do the research. They like someone and they just believe them. Well, that's not someone who is searching the truth because truth is not about personality. And if you don't put that principle above the personality, you're, you're going to be misled. You're going to not, you have to search the truth yourself. If you rely on anybody, and that includes me, you rely on anybody, then that anybody could be taking you in the wrong direction. Um, so the Russians think that it could capsize the planet and, oh, it goes on, you know, about how we're just nuts for thinking that it can control the weather and alter human behavior. This guy hasn't done any of the research, so he's stupid. Sorry. All right. There was an article published in the Russian Military Journal, um, and here is the journal article that was translated. I think this is the journal article. Yeah. Um, the Open Source Center is Wikipedia. That's what they're linking people to. Wikipedia. Um, what did the journal article say? Some Russian and foreign analysts argue that the U.S. program is in effect a disguised idea of creation of an immensely powerful ray, a geophysical weapon, whose principle of operation is based on the use of means of influencing the processes which take place in the solid, liquid, gaseous layers of the Earth for military purposes. It is possible to control the artificially created plasmoid plasma localized areas of highly ionized gas. 
a globular lighting in ionosphere by using lasers to shift the focal point of the aerials. In other words, using enormous installations, Americans plan to bombard the sky with energy beams, which, when they are reflected from ionosphere, can return back to Earth in the form of low-frequency electromagnetic waves. Opponents of the program? Reasons not to trust the soothing statements by Americans? Yeah, we've been lying from the get-go, betraying, uh, we do what the hell we want to do, and who cares about treaties and international law? Because we are exceptional. The layer of ionosphere, which is excited by HARP, influences the radio and electronic equipment which is installed in the military hardware. Fire control, guidance systems, fire adjustment equipment, navigation systems. As a result, an aircraft or a missile will be damaged if they fly through the beam, the plasmoid. Uh, nuclear weapons? Forget about it. That's child's play. Geophysical weapons are much more powerful. And if, say, the beam is sent to Britain, it can make the country dysfunctional in seconds. It can bring an, the economy of an entire country to its knees. In a few years' time, well, it can do that actually overnight. Knock out their grid. Uh, and nobody will understand anything. All right, so you need to do the research. You have to find out about this technology to get a basis of knowledge so that you understand, ah, all of this is invisible. What a fabulous weapon. So when things occur, you factor in those invisible weapons. You don't just ignore it and then claim to know what is taking place. Everything has to be factored in. Um, even the developers of HARP cannot say with certainty what will happen to the planet and how ionosphere will react to the attack with these rays if the system is switched to the maximum power. Ionosphere, the ozone layer, protect the Earth from the deadly cosmic radiation. The electromagnetic cannon of the HARP system will damage ionosphere and the cosmic radiation will be able to reach the surface of the planet. Now understand, the Russians, they have their, what is it called, the Eichstatt? Can't remember, but they have their own harp. Okay. Um, the effects of this know-how cannot be controlled, some researchers say. Even a single use of this weapon may result in so-called trigger effects which no one will be able to stop. Earthquakes, sudden cooling of the global scale. Uh, a lot of people are claiming that the, the Earth is cooling, and that's natural. Um, well, sorry, we don't know. No, we don't know anything anymore. You know, in fact, I want to show you. Uh, this was um, this was taken by me. Anderson, South Carolina. The moon, high in the sky, 2 p.m. It was there for three, four consecutive days. Now, you notice no, no chemtrailing, but this was early in the afternoon. The chemtrailing comes later on some days. So, what is this thing? How is the moon out at 2 p.m.? Is it that magnetic pole shift? Or is it a hologram? Are we now living a time when they are producing these holograms so that we, we don't know? Now, the purple and the green. I took a video of a Doppler radar station in Cummington, Massachusetts. This was many years ago. And that Doppler radar station was emitting frequencies. And you could tell by the green uh, and in that video, the green was kind of flickering. Now, I was a ways away from this Doppler radar station. So, when I saw this green, I knew that it was emitting energy. Is this a hologram? The energy 
from the hologram. The green, the purple, rim? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know if it's real either. That's the world we're living in when man has used this technology to screw around with all of the natural processes. You get to a point, because you can't stop what they're doing, you get to a point where you can't know even what is right before your eyes. Is it real or is it Memorex? There are days when I see the moon uh, up in the sky, one direction. The next night, it's in another direction. And I'm like, okay, that shouldn't be happening. What am I looking at? Hell if I know. But I do know that our, uh, the, this planet has been so screwed with that now we may be living a lot of the inadvertent effects, the trigger effects, even just one attack of the ionosphere. You don't play around with, with all of what is natural in this planet. You just don't play around with it. It's like we've got boys in the military, like they're still in their garage, their parents' garage, doing experiments. But understand this. We don't have a lot of good people in our country. They don't give a shit what they're doing to the planet, to people, to life itself. We have heard that over and over again. Our military has experimented on Americans dumping toxic uh, biologicals. St. Louis, San Francisco, New York subway system. And we still have people who trust our military. And that, th th those are, you know, the end of the experiments. The list is long. So, yeah, they blew up the Van Allen belts and in, in, they discovered them January 1958. They blew them up in September 1958. Let's see what will happen. These people are unbelievably crazy nut jobs and psychopaths who have no conscience. They have their agenda, and that's all that matters. So, earthquake, sudden cooling on the global scale. In the uh, opinion of Canadian scientist Rosalie Bertel, who is studying the effects of wars on the environment, intense disturbances of ionosphere may result in a release of huge masses of free electrons, so-called electron showers. For its part, this might result in the change of electric potential of the poles and ensuing shift of the magnetic pole of the Earth, Simply speaking, simply speaking, the planet will capsize. So the location of the North Pole will become uncertain. Is this what I'm seeing with the moon? Maybe it's not a hologram. It's uncertain where it will be every night now. Um, I will link below to the journal article, and I will link below to this article, which is very, very good. Harp and recent natural disasters. Um, Secretary of Defense Cohen, uh, during the Clinton years, stated terrorists will be using these weapons. Uh, the terrorists are governments. Um, but he suggested that electromagnetic waves could alter the climate and control earthquakes and volcanoes remotely. HARP can ionize and heat the atmosphere, significantly affecting the airflow, and thus should cause storms, tornadoes, extreme heat, frost, going on to say that it can be anywhere in the world to create artificial lightning stronger than any natural disaster. Any natural lightning, sorry. Um, a guy, an expert, um, 1983, did tomography with 30 watts looking for the oil in the ground. I found 26 oil wells over a nine state area and 100% of the time was accurate with just 30 watts. Well, harp then was 3.6 million watts, producing an up ap apocalyptic 100 billion watts to shoot back down to Earth. The European Parliament, 1998, very concerned about HARP and uh, wanted an international committee to investigate and regulate HARP. But of course, they also wanted an American representative to come over to um, testify in this hearing, uh, we ignored them. 
We didn't send anybody. Uh, the implications of HARP are so vast on the negative side because of our child journalists who are the fourth branch of the American government. They are you know, the ones who are supposed to be <laughs> giving us the truth about what our government is doing. Well, they failed a long time ago. They don't do that. And now we are living a time that is so dangerous, toxic, um, and yes, they are, they are 100% responsible, these, uh, these people who, and they write with such arrogance. So this article is very, very good. I'd love to read it, but it's 35 minutes now into this video, and um, they do talk about the effects on our magnetic pole. I don't believe what we are living well, we know that our weather now is controlled. They have taken over the natural processes of Earth itself. Mother Nature's gone. We can't know what's natural, what's real, or what is a trigger effect. A trigger effect of militaries punching the ionosphere to bring back enormous amounts of energy which they can direct anywhere cause earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes you know when you think about what happened in Haiti, Chile, China, Japan, New Zealand the earthquakes strange lights were reported in the skies above many of those countries um, yeah, you cannot not factor in what is taking place. And yes, they have harp stations on ships. And it looks like a huge Doppler radar station. Let me get you a picture and that'll be the end of this video. Cute, isn't it? Well, this is a weapon of mass destruction that you are looking at. A weapon of mass destruction and it can destroy the magnetic pole. It can affect everything on this planet. It can cause a pole shift. All links are below.